and my name is Manshu Bhardwaj. I am an MBA graduate from IIM Shillong, and also uh, I have eight years of experience in mine planning and design. Uh, I was associated with Central Mine Planning and Design Institute, which uh, uh, plans the uh, mining operations in India and abroad, particularly for coal mining activities. So, uh, in this series of video, I am going to discuss the uh, operations strategy of metal mining activities. Operation study give you a competitive advantage if you want to make fortune from mines you have to optimize your activities you have to properly frame uh, your operation strategy so what is operation study is a long term uh, planning your of your uh, res uh, resources uh, so operation strategy is unlike of that you here uh, this make decision for long term planning so for long term planning you uh, you uh, take some crucial decision that affects your day to day planning and operations and that has more capability to affect your day to day operations and that is why operation strategy is so important so uh, it is the uh, uh, it influence the capabilities of your resources your operational resources so uh, there are many costs involved in your mining. Uh, one of those costs are variable costs that is also called mining cost. And the major part of this cost uh, is associated with your uh, uh, with your uh, production cost by shovel and dumper. So uh, this is a major at, at, uh, approximately it shares 50 to 55 percent of your mining cost. And that is why it is very important to optimize your mining cost uh, your uh, minimize your uh, shovel dumper cost uh, uh, and that is uh, 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 and for that uh, reason you need certain techniques uh, i have used a q modeling technique here to optimize the mining uh, or the production cost of shovel and dumper so you have to make various decision in order to minimize the cost of shovel and dumper per hour that decision may involve the uh, optimum fleet size decision and other uh, decision making so uh, uh, here i am going to show you how to uh, use q modeling techniques to uh, decide the fleet size of your uh, dump truck so uh, i will discuss the entire process in detail and apply the q modeling technique uh, and show you uh, the result so let us start the discussion first uh, as i discussed earlier uh, 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 operation in operation strategy uh, shovel truck optimization is a very crucial step and uh, uh, you have to decide the optimum fleet size so here i'm going to discuss a technique called q modeling approach and that will be used that can be used to optimize the shovel dumper uh, system so in shovel dumper system first we have to understand the environment the system of mining so first we have to understand the cycle time of a shovel so uh, it uh, uh, the total cycle time of a shovel could be divided into four step one is the uh, one is when the bucket uh, move up against the wall, uh, mining wall the uh, pit wall and scratch some material this step is called loading uh, the dipper means the material that uh, that ha have uh, has been scrapped uh, scratched uh, is going to fill the dipper so the process look uh, we can see in this video how this process look like and then another uh, another process is uh, the hoisting and swinging of uh, the uh, bucket arm so you can see uh, uh, once the material has been filled up into the bucket it swing to the over the uh, dump truck and then and and the step is dumping so material has been uh, material is being dumped uh, into the truck and then it is again swinging back and uh, lowering down so this is the entire uh, cycle time of a shovel so 
uh, in this way we can calculate the uh, cycle time of a so shovel now uh, this uh, there, there these are the specification that uh, for shovel the dipper capacity of bucket size is 22 uh, cubic meter and the fill factor is 98 percent means uh, every time approximately 98 percent of the bucket uh, is filled the truck size used here is 181 truck uh, although uh, in the real modeling i have used a different uh, parameter uh, actually parameter is not important here uh, my in my discussion uh, process is more important so uh, just uh, understand the process the average cycle time as i discussed for shovel uh, as i shown earlier is 40 second and the spot time a spot time means truck arrive at the shovel site and it has to um, uh, get uh, it has to uh, reach uh, it has to um, uh, be at the proper position for for uh, for that it requires 30 seconds so spot time is i'm taking a 30 second then average time to load is uh, total time is 3.8 minute because uh, you have to use five buckets to load load the entire truck so this could be a case uh, in your minds uh, although uh, for different bucket size and and different uh, uh, truck uh, size uh, you might have a different specification and different cycle time so factors that affects the cycle time of the shovel is the bucket swing means the more uh, you rotate the uh, uh, the bu uh, bucket uh, arm the more time it takes then uh, vertical distance travel by the bucket means you start at the bottom of the wall and then uh, move up so the more height you travel the more time you take so you have to correct the bench height correction and then the uh, bucket uh, uh, swing correction so all the correction you uh, does do then the cycle time of the haulage truck so it could be uh, so now we have understood the uh, cycle time of shovel now uh, it's time to the drum truck so it involve again involves four uh, you can divide the entire cycle time into four steps one is the uh, step and uh, that uh, at the it start with the loading of the hall so once it is uh, one uh, it has been loaded it travels through the uh, uh, loaded hall uh, hall roads so uh, one, the, this is the uh, truck loaded and it travels down the uh, hall road and then uh, it reached at the uh, dumping site which might be a waste dumping site or the crusher in case of ore so you dump the material into into the primary crusher for example in the case of ore once you dump the material it again uh, travels towards the uh, the uh, shovel site so this is the complete cycle of a haulage truck so uh, in order to decide the travel time uh, through the uh, haulage uh, road you have to use simulations because there are many factors that affects the travel time of a truck it means if it is loaded then you have to uh, add the weight of the load and also uh, if you are moving up to the elevation uh, because uh, elevation is not same at all the haulage road so it has great influence on the cost and time of the travel so you have to include all those factors means you have to uh, use you have to model the acceleration the velocity uh, in case of lo load and unload uh, so for those uh, those uh, you have to create simulations and then you can calculate the cycle time this time uh, the travel time and the cost so uh, uh, in this uh, slide i have shown the uh, i have divided the dump truck cycle time so uh, the dump truck cycle time could be divided into three parts one is the dump truck travel time unloaded so in this case you can estimate uh, the uh, time by simulation then the dump truck travel time loaded and this could also be estimated by simulation 
एंड दी डम टक डम टाइम एट दी क्रशर और दी डम साइट सो दिस कुड बी वन पॉइंट फाइव मिनट और यू कैन गेट दी आइडिया फ्रॉम दी एनालोगस प्रोजेक्ट और सम हिस्टोरिकल डेटा सो नाउ वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन दी कॉस्ट पर आवर फॉर शॉवल एंड डंकर ट्रक डंपर ट्रक so uh, we have to consider here the sales price including all the taxes freight and insurance charges will be will be uh, added up then import duty if you are importing the uh, equipment outside uh, from your country then you have to add the import duty then you have to add the assembly cost because you transport the machinery in an unassembled way and then you assemble at the at your mine site so you have to add the assembly cost as well and then you add all the four cost you will be getting the total cost of the machine either uh, it is shovel whether it is shovel or the truck then you have to determine the operating information means how many years of operations uh, you have estimate uh, you have determined for the machine then how many hours you are going to use per year and then you have to determine the total lifetime in hours so machine depreciation and amortize you have to amortize the cost of the machine so it will be uh, total cost of the machinery divided by total lifetime in hours so once you have calculated the hours per year use and then uh, calculate the total lifetime hours and uh, divide the total cost Uh, by the uh, total lifetime hours, then you have to also calculate the uh, in interest rate, insurance, and taxes per year, and then divide uh, calculate convert it into per hour by dividing the total number of hours in an year, and add into the DNA cost as we have uh, estimated earlier. So you will be getting the cost per hour. Then fuel consumptions again it requires the simulations we have to to uh, give many factors for example in the case of dump truck you for uh, um, means if you are moving up to the hill side um, uh, uh, to the uh, hill then you have to uh, give the um, give those factor elevation factors as well as the uh, you have to give the whether it uh, your truck is loaded or unloaded you have to Uh, uh, feed those factors also, and then you can calculate the fuel consumption per hour. So once you are, so th in this example we have shown here, this is a DM elevation model of a mine, and the haul road is shown here, and the green uh, path. You can see uh, the elevations uh, can be uh, taken from this uh, elevation map, and you can simulate. the path of the truck and as well as the simulate you can calculate the cost of the truck also so then you have to add the maintenance cost per hour of the truck so just uh, estimate the maintenance requirement and then then your tire you have to invest uh, money in tires also so uh, you just determine the price of the tire the number of tires Uh, required for um, uh, for each machine machinery and lifetime of the tires so uh, tires per per cost will be calculated as the cost per set of tires may for for example one set uh, of drum drum truck includes four tires so uh, you can uh, calculate the total cost and divide it with the average true lifetime in hours then you add the repair cost per hour means labor plus the parts requirement so you can estimate you can get it from the some historical data or uh, some uh, some analogous uh, data uh, analogous project you can get these repairing cost estimates from there then you you are you have to calculate the operating labor cost per hour so operating labor cost means uh, uh, operating labor crew in uh, involved in running the machine so operating labor crew uh, you can calculate their salaries and all other benefits 
and divide it uh, into the number of hours you will be getting the operating labor cost per hour after adding all these cost you will be getting the total machine cost per hour so uh, once you have determined the total machine cost per hour divide it with the uh, production uh, uh, how much uh, machine has produced and in tons and then you will be getting the cost per hour per ton so now uh, we uh, let's move to the uh, de to uh, to determine the optimum fleet size so modeling the truck arrival rate so first it start with the uh, the arrival rate modeling of the truck so normally the truck arrival rate can be modeled by poison distribution so suppose there are x arrivals per hour on an average uh, uh, so the probability of x arrival per hour will be uh, e to the power will be modeled as poison distribution as given by this equation so lambda is the average arrival rate per hour of the truck you can easily determine it uh, uh, by simulations or by uh, analyzing the analogous project data or uh, you can get the uh, arrival rate of the truck per hour similarly modeling the service rate of the shovel so average service time of the shovel is mu here the length of the service time is t therefore the probability that service time will be greater than t will be uh, given by e to the power minus mu t so this is the exponential distribution you can determine the uh, probability of the service time so now uh, i'm using the finite population model uh, mmckk model because the number of truck here is finite so population will be considered as finite so we can model it with finite population model so here the probability that there is no truck in the system so what is system here exactly is system is nothing but the uh, shovel and the uh, queue uh, uh, the truck queue this uh, one by one truck will be arriving and getting served by the shovel getting filled up by the shovel so now we have we know the service rate and the arrival rate arrival rate is lambda here mu is the service rate k is the uh, number of uh, total number of truck uh, uh, so this uh, we have to determine here and uh, the probability that there is no truck in the system is p0 this will be calculated by this formula then the probability that there are n truck in the system is will be given by pn uh, so the formula is given here so all the parameters we know the average number of trucks in the system is will be given by npn uh, summation of npn average waiting time in the system is w l by uh, long term service rate uh, sorry long term arrival rate and this, uh, the system utilization we can calculate by long term arrival rate divided by c mu the various theoretical concept of q modeling and also we have all discussed the uh, the how we can calculate the cost per hour for machine now uh, I, here i am going to show you the how we can uh, we can build a q model uh, for shovel holly system so uh, you can all uh, i have done it on python you can also do it on excel spreadsheet because it is very uh, easy to implement q modeling so here uh, i have used uh, these three basic packages uh, for q modeling that is uh, numpy pandas and matplotlib so matplotlib is for plotting purposes and pandas uh, provides a data frame so uh, your calculation becomes much easier and you can also use the numpy so here i have taken uh, two number of shovels so uh, two number of shovels with 22 uh, cubic meter bucket capacity uh, and then uh, i have taken uh, the uh, cycle time uh, calculated i have calculated it 20 minutes so this cycle time you can calculate using uh, the simulation softwares uh, because different bench level you will be getting a different table time for trucks so if you are at the uh, uh, deeper bench level then travel time would be higher if you are at the uh, uh, at the surface and uh, then travel time would be lower so it uh, it uh, it uh, uh, 
and depends upon the bench side as well as uh, whether your your truck is moving up the hill or down the hill then you have incorporate various factors such as acceleration deacceleration velocity you need to calculate then whether your truck is loaded or unloaded you have to take these factors in, into account and calculate the uh, travel time so this travel time may also vary so you can take the poison distribution uh, for uh, for that rate so 20 minutes i have taken uh, uh, travel time so there will be uh, in one hour there will be 60 by 20 number of trucks so this will be the arrival rate so this is the arrival rate that i have calculated here and then uh, for service rate uh, i have taken uh, for, ser for service rate of shovel i have taken the value is uh, uh, 3.8 minute approximately so you can take the exponential distribution for this and you can calculate the service rate of the shovel shovel then i have calculated the cost uh, per hour for shovel is 300 dollars uh, so this cost cost depends uh, as i have already uh, already discussed this uh, this cost depend uh, depends upon many factors then also i have taken uh, 250 dollar uh, uh, per hour cost for uh, 180 ton drum truck so you can calculate uh, based on if you have all the data available with you then uh, probability that the system has zero trucks this function will give this then probability that there are, the system has n trucks this function will calculate the probability that there are n uh, number of trucks in the system you can calculate the utilization factor uh, so utilization factor will be 1 minus probability of 0 means uh, probability that there will be zero number of trucks so this will be the utilization factor then i have created a data frame so uh, i have taken uh, i have created various simulation from uh, number of trucks uh, I have taken from 1 to 10 so uh, at least you need to uh, 1 to 10 you uh, you can calculate then uh, production will be uh, you can uh, calculate the production that will nothing but the service rate so effective uh, if I, now you need to calculate the effective uh effective arrival time so effective arrival time will be given by uh, number of trucks divided by average travel time average total uh, cycle time so average total cycle time is equal to act plus uh, waiting time in the queue so to average cycle time we have calculated that is the haulage time plus the uh, loading time plus some fixed time so this will be the average uh, uh, cycle time and if you add the wq you will be getting the average total cycle time so because trucks are coming uh, in a queue and it has to wait and then it will be serviced by the shovel then again uh, the cycle time so this will be the average total cycle time that you can calculate then effective mu you can also calculate that will be 1 minus p0 into mu so this will be the effective uh, service rate so more the truck in the system uh, service time will be more service time will be higher so you can calculate this by using these formulas then you need to calculate the um, uh, part and cost so this is nothing but c1 into number of shovel plus c2 into number of trucks divided by production so i have calculated this part and cost then i have plotted this cost you can see that at five number of trucks you will be getting the minimum uh, 
cost per ton so so the optimum fleet size uh, will be five trucks for two shovel so this is how you can calculate the optimum fleet size so this is the data frame showing showing various calculation this is the number of trucks and this is the production this is the production so you can calculate the production and you can also calculate the per ton cost so it is minimum for five you can see here minimum for five so you can apply this q modeling uh, and get the optimal number of plates so i'm ending my presentation here thank you very much